Okay, um, and then my last question is for everyone, um, and I guess this is a little different than the pink fluffy situation, sock, whatever. Um, <laughs> but is, was there, um, what are your like funniest or most awkward moments that you might have had when the camera was rolling? I mean, did y'all have anything like any any type of costume being caught? Tell us about your awkward story. I know you got a good. <laughs> I've had many good conversations with you about your awkward story. Oh, I, I had a very oh. awkward day. <laughs> I had a very awkward day. Um, I don't think you're going to mind if I tell this story. I just remember when he had pushed down. Oh God, that awkward story. Okay, apparently I have several awkward stories. Um, <laughs> Okay, so I do have one... Yeah, I, oh, yeah, that was a very awkward day. So the day that I shot the scene in season one with um, in Littlefinger's Brothel with the other girl was um, <clears throat> a trying day. I'll buy you a beer. Um, <laughs> it was a very long day. Um, and there was a lot of... There were several things that was awkward about that. Um, mainly that... Um, the girl that I was working with who's fantastic, absolutely wonderful wonderful girl <coughs> called Sahara Knight um, she's fantastic but she hadn't really done anything like a TV show before, she comes from a different industry and so she didn't really understand the <laughs> she didn't understand the concept of continuity so much and I kept trying to explain to her as best I could that, you know, we're in doing this scene and then that when your butt is here, and I'm saying this line, your butt needs to be here every time I say that line. Otherwise, when they edit it, it's going to be a nightmare because you're going to be up, you're down, you're here, you're there. <laughs> and she just couldn't get it. I don't know why. It just wasn't computing. It was very hot. It was a long day. And in the end, I was like, I don't really know what to do with this girl. Because <laughs> I know that I'd be damned if... I, I have a thing about continuity. Like, if I'm watching a film and the continuity is bad, I, can't, I will switch it off. I turned... The Aviator, great film. I turned that shit off. Because the <laughs> continuity was so bad, I just couldn't deal with it. So I'm like, I'd be damned if my scene's going to be ruined because this girl doesn't understand continuity. So I just started manhandling her and I was really mean and I felt horrible and I just like, yeah, dude. <laughs> but I did, I spent the whole day basically pushing her around and I'm pushing and I'm shoving and I'm being so, and I'm pouring with sweat and then I turn around and it's meant to be a closed set when you do sex scenes, so there's not really meant to be many people there and I turn around and there's like five, I'm in Moulton, there's like Five, I know, five guys from the Italian film crew, all holding one flag over a light. And a flag is like a flag is like a pole with a board over that you control the light with. It takes one person to hold a flag. They ain't heavy. And there's five of them. They all like have one finger on the flag each, and they're all like grinning like Cheshire cats. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm having the hardest day on set and you guys are doing what? <laughs> yeah, so they left. So that was awkward. And doing that scene with um, Julian Clancy were in season one where he was <sighs> wearing that nightgown and he did have a moment where he chose to stand in front of the heater, which, because we shot that scene in Belfast and it's meant to be in King's Landing and it was in Belfast in December. And it was so cold that the makeup artist kept on coming. She's like, your nose is red. And I'm like, well, duh. I'm like naked, basically. We might as well be outside. It was probably warmer outside than it was inside that um, studio. Um, and so we have these heaters that are basically like the jet of an aeroplane. They're like... <laughs> and <laughs> Julian... <laughs> Um, who plays my st Master Pycelle, stood in front of it in this nightgown that he's wearing, and the whole thing just went up above his head. I'm like, oh, oh my God! I was mortified. He wasn't. He thought it was hilarious. I was like, so don't do that again, dude. That was embarrassing. Anyone else have an awkward, <laughs> awkward story? Not that awkward. No. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll give you another one. Um, okay. Also in season one, I'm sure you can guess, it's also my bloody nude scene. Uh, 
My scene was outside for a start. Yeah, and it was raining. And um, I, was, I had to wear this horrible sort of... <laughs> so embarrassing. Um, it's like a, a thong with a huge penis on the front of it. Um, oh, but the pubic hair had to be plaited into my own. So yeah, the, the pubic, the, the, the false pubes had to be sort of knitted into my own pubes to make it look real. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> I would be screwed. This is uh, fucking way better than mine, yeah, dude. Yeah. So, I literally, literally had like big long pieces of pubes going down. I couldn't get them off. <laughs> but anyway, is anybody that's the this? story. Um, <laughs> I had to like crouch in this bush um, whilst Bran and Asha were having their little chit chat or whatever. And um, every time I came out of the bush, like it was awful, honestly. Every time I came out, there were two uh, we pheasants, like birds, and they were basically fucking. And, and um, every time I would come out, you would hear this like, <laughs> and I'd have to go back into the bush. I'd have to like readjust myself. And it was just, it was the worst day of my life. And yeah. Yeah, and I'll tell you about a closed set. I, I, was, it was, I was told it would be a closed set, and there were 200 people there in a circle, <laughs> including the people who owned the land. Yeah, so there you go, beat that. From now on, when I do these, I'm going to tell your story. <laughs> I've got some dirt on him. <laughs>